Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Pritam. In this video, we will talk about continuation of PTC Creo Extrude tool. As I said, Extrude tool inside PTC Creo is very advanced and is merger of multiple tools for example draft you're going to get two commands out of it which is adding and subtracting material not only that we can also extrude any feature as a thicken we can also extrude as a surface we will cover all these expect one by one so in this video we will cover another expect of extrude which is extrude by type in how many way you can extrude inside ptc creo so without further ado let's dive in okay so now here we are in our computer screen and let me actually close this because for this i have another model that i would say is very old and i got this sample model from someone who actually work in PTC and actually this model will help us to understand the different variant of extrude in a better way. So let's start understanding extrude one by one. So starting with our first type of extrude which is blind. So let me actually select the sketch and then click on extrude. The simplest extrude or the default extrude sometimes known as blind extrude or we can say extrude up to a finite length finite because here we need to define the value of extrude so here current value by default is 45 and this sometime you know system automatically calculate so let's say you want to extrude this entity or this sketch up to 50 so simply type 50 and hit enter and we are done with our extrude so this one i would say is one of very basic extrude or I would say one of mostly common extrude but there will be certain situation when you require some different kind of extrude and one such extrude is adding material to both sides and for that what we're going to do is we're going to do symmetric extrude and in order to show that I will be using this sketch and again let's hit extrude and this time what i'm going to do is here okay, let's say the value is still 50 but instead of adding material in one direction or you know just simply flipping into another direction i will go here in extrude command and then i will click on this option now here we go here we can see six different type of extrude so the variable of finite or blind we already have tried this time we will go with symmetric extrude and uh, what symmetric extrude will do it will add or remove material equally from both side of sketching plane so here we can see our sketch or sketching plane lies here and let me actually enable my sketching plane so that you can also see it and here we can see you know we are adding material equally on both side so in this way guys we can perform symmetric extrude now let's talk about the another variant of extrude for that again let me click on extrude let me select this sketch and now let's again click here and then click on to next so what this extrude will do as we can see here the tooltip says extrude up to next surface so whenever you click on to next it will automatically detect the next surface and will extrude the feature or the sketch up to next surface so in this way guys we can do this kind of extrude which is pretty handy if in case let's say you would like to make some changes to this face for example if i go here and make some changes to the surface which is currently 289 and if i make it 292 then automatically you will see that this extrude also got updated so this is really helpful in that scenario now let's talk about through all type of extrude for that again let me select this sketch and then click on extrude click here and click on through all and then here also you can see it going to extrude to intersect with all surfaces and there we go 
the extrude of this feature as the name suggests happened till through all surfaces and if i want to remove material here also it shows that till this surface we did extrude now let's see another variant of extrude again let me click on extrude and this time we will do through until so through until is a kind of extrude where we actually decide that we want to do extrude up to here or let's say up to here so basically we are defining till which surface we want extrude so again let me choose this one so you can actually press shift button to slide or you know to change the surface so in this way guys we can choose up to which surface we want to do extrude so this one was through until type of extrude now let's again click here and click on extrude now let's click here and we have got this to reference extrude so in case of reference let's see here what it says so we can extrude again just like similar to through until but this time we can choose surface edge vertex quilt body curve plane axis or point so basically you can choose any entity as a reference so let's this time choose to reference and i'm gonna choose this plane as a reference so here we go here we can see now we did extrude till this plane now let me press shift button and choose the surface let me actually rotate it let me choose to reference there we go so here we can see and you also notice the profile of this extrude it also resemble the surface so this also shows that we did extrude or we added material till this surface and similarly if i again press shift button and choose from this one to this one and here again you can see the extrude again get inspired by shape of this feature so in this way guys we can do extrude up to certain reference now let's talk about unsymmetric extrude or extrude where you want to perform two different direction but with difference in length for that let's take this sketch and click on extrude and this time what i'm gonna do is i will say that yes i would like to go with variable extrude in this direction i would like to do extrude up to 100 mm and in opposite direction i would like to do 50 mm of extrude for that click here on option and now click on side 2 here you can specify value so 50 mm so in this way guys we can do unsymmetric extrude as well and then it's not only you can do finite or variable extrude again you also have all the possibilities available for example to next which will automatically choose next intersecting surface so again i would say it is totally up to us the way we want to do extrude in opposite direction now let's talk about offset type of extrude so in case of offset type of extrude let's say we have a sketching plane or sketch available on this plane i would like to extrude this at certain offset that is also possible um, let's say i would like to do extrude up to 100 but it should start from 20 and for that again here i can go to option and then here i can select variable and then instead of extrude in this direction i can drag this dynamic handle to opposite direction and can give here a value from where i would like to start this extrude so in this way guys our sketch was at this plane and we created this offset extrude which is 20 mm offset than the sketching plane so this one is also a very interesting extrude and obviously as we discussed we can also remove material through extrude and let me actually edit this extrude and instead of adding material i can click on remove material as well so in this way guys we can perform extrude command in different different way i hope guys you find this video helpful informational if yes then do like and subscribe to engineering pritam 
in our next video we will continue creo extrude as still there are few options left that i would like to cover in our next video try it by yourself if you have got any questions or query do let us know in comment down below and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye